the United Kingdom and our allies in NATO and the G7 here today are clear. We will not stand by while Putin vents his fury on Ukraine. I've rarely seen our nations more united in recent years than we are now. Putin's failure in Ukraine is vital for the peace and prosperity of all of us, and his barbaric invasion has galvanized the international community into collective action. We will work with like-minded allies to ramp up lethal aid to Ukraine at scale, providing kit uh, to President Zelensky in, in the quantity and with the quality that he needs to defend his country from its bullying neighbour. Today, I've announced that we in the UK will send an additional 6,000 missiles and provide £25 million in unrestricted funding for Ukraine's armed forces, more than doubling the lethal aid we provided to date. We're bolstering our support for the NATO countries on the front line, sending a new deployment of UK troops to Bulgaria on top of doubling our troops both in Poland and in Estonia. This is just the beginning. We must support a free and democratic Ukraine in the long term. This is a fellow European democracy fighting a war of national defence. NATO and G7 leaders were also united today in our determination to continue turning the screws on the Kremlin's war machine, including by weaning ourselves off Russian oil and gas and reshaping global energy security. The UK has already hit over a, over a thousand Russian individuals and entities in our toughest ever sanctions, and the Foreign Secretary has announced 65 new sanctions against Russian banks, weapons manufacturers, and oligarchs just this morning. I also discussed the humanitarian response with our allies and partners today as we continue to see huge numbers of Ukrainians flee their homes. And the message that President Putin can take from today's extraordinary meeting of NATO and the G7 is this, Ukraine is not alone.